there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of nebeercommunity.com. Check him out on Instagram and uh, Twitter. So this is a beer from Fiden. So Fiden's one of the top rated breweries in the world. They're out of Colony. Uh, I think it's, yeah, Albany area, 7.8%. Uh, and this is Jasper. And really cool. I like the design on this one. It's, I guess, their original homebrew setup uh, doing... Uh, like half barrel kind of matches, you know, you sort of like rig <laughs> a keg, a half barrel, and just like turn into a homebrew system. So, uh, yes, uh, it's Citra. Literally, it's, I think you can see it, just Citra. It doesn't say much more other than that. So, check it out. Really enjoyed the last one. So, milky, milky pour. Hard pour on that. This is some of the CO2. Nice big end up being created. Oh, look at that rise, rise, rise. Yeah, that's where we're at, right? For hard, that's what you get. So looks murky, murky. It's actually pretty pale right down here. So it's really like a almost straw-like old color. A fluffy white head. You get a little stinky on here. So, this is not, honestly, I like, like, it's a fine glass, but I don't like how it like verts out like that. Like it's not. I'm having some of that kind of like, um, get like B.O., stinky, stinky, you know, Citra does all that kind of weird stuff sometimes, like with the new ones, uh, newer uh, Citras. <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to pick out more, but we'll see how the palate goes. I do have very cold, so we're out of the fridge. Um, very light beer for a double IPA, so I'm going to, um, a lot of that kind of like, Oat wheat cream kind of thing, this <laughs> way intense. Um, almost reminds me of the uh, other half beers, the like oat cream IPA kind of things. Like, there's a lot of that kind of imagine quality coming through. Very pale. Um, I'm getting all that kind of like those uh, oat crackers, what, you know, rice, oh, rice crackers. That's what it's like, just super the most pale thing you can go with dough. Um, As it warms up on my palate, there's a nice kind of like citrusy drive to drive this one. Uh, white grapefruit, a little bit of pith, really clean. Um, the thing that lingers on the back end is more that kind of like oat cream kind of thing uh, driving. So all that like oat or wheat, whatever they're doing is like just linger on the back end. It's really pale malted. Uh, it's really uh, low on the amount of malt flavor, but really showing the adjunct that they're using. Really creamy, great mouthfeel. Good amount of residual sweetness. And not overly dry from hot bite. And it's mostly just like, you know, not too heavy on its, first off, the ester profile is like um, relatively low uh, or not too high considering it just had the King of Julius, which is like a smack in your face kind of thing. So it uh, might be like stepped down from that. So like, you know, I'm not getting too much, but. Drinkability is super high. It's crushable for days. I mean, it's literally just like, I mean, if you like the other half beers, this is right up in the alley. So clean. And as I drink more, it just washes out that water. Like, despite the thickness, like right here, it washes out with water on the back end. So it's like really clean beer. Yeah, quite nice. And I'm not really getting any chalky, which is fantastic. They're not overly uh, heavily treated water on this one. And it's mostly just citrus here, right? Mangoes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mostly just like rich, rich orange character and a little bit of mango and just a creamy, delicious beer. I mean, like people like, I mean, there's, there's beers that I say that like you need more aromatics, you need more kind of like big, rich hop flavor up front. But for me, the mouthfeel and the richness of the style really shines. And that's when you get something like, a, like it's really like, a, <laughs> this is really the head in, right? So it's got the pretty parts of half bites and without that intense uh, banana ester um, and the phenolic, you know, clove character. And so what you, what you get is really thick, creamy beer, imperialized at 7.8%. And then you get really nice, just pretty hop character. And it's not like too rich. It's like offering nice drinkability. The, 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 the hops don't really like push you and punch you in the head too much. So what you really is have like imperial hoppy wheat beer. 
with this really wonderful kind of like hot prettiness that like sits in somewhere or pushing a little bit of like like there's that grain and that like rice cracker and dough character that sits in the spear but there's also a little bit of like green hop character that comes in very light like it's not even like specifically noticeable unless you're looking forward and then like a little bit of orangey and like pithiness and just like really pretty beer like this is like you know like the the people talk about like old school beers like half fights is amazing and like all these old styles but like this really sits in that realm it really is that kind of beer it's somewhat esser forward you know like that's definitely accentuating the hops and milky um, like a bit beer half lights and it's a bigger beer high drinkability it's fruity too yeah and you're using hops to push that fruitiness absolutely fantastic um person for me you know i wish it was a little bit more aromatic a little bit more punchy but no candidate, but I think it does its job amazing. And I give all the credit to things like mouthfeel, no chalkiness, no hot burn. That's where I'm on it. Uh, this beer for me is just so drinkable. Double IPA, killer, killer stuff. Oh, 90, 90. the A to A plus range for sure. Drinkability just so good. Oh, the other beer it reminds me of M43. So much like this. Milky, creamy, thick. And let's give it a solid 97. 97. That is absolutely fantastic. Five inches absolutely blowing me away. Um, New York with another world class crazy hop brewery. That's absolutely fantastic. Check it out. If you guys have heard about them, they're definitely worth checking out. So cheers. Later.